Hey, welcome to the Dai and Taro show. I'm Taro Koki. I'm Dai Yoshihara. You know, yes, Taku. Thanks for coming to the show. This is uh, Taku Masaki from Sony Computer Entertainment America. Do uh, uh, You are the uh, US producer of the Gran Turismo games. Yes. Well, more Big properly, I think North American producer, I guess they call it. Because we have. Oh, wow, bigger than that. Canada. Oh, they have a different producer. You know what? Canada. We're expanding to Latin America too now, so oh. I guess. So I don't know what you're going to be. Whole America? Yeah, they'll be like. US, Canada, North American producer, oh, okay. uh, Latin American producer, whatever. Oh, I see. Wow. So what, what exactly is your role with Grand Turismo? What do you do? Uh, in a nutshell, it's it's about making the game um, our market friendly. Mm -hmm. So not it starts off with translating the game into multiple languages, but more importantly, culturalizing the game to make sure it works in our market. That means, um, you know, if we early early in the development phase, we get together with the team and talk about what the, the habits and the, the likes and dislikes of our audience, and make sure that's implemented in the game early on, so that the game doesn't become too foreign. Oh, I see. Okay. Because the game is originally made in Japan. Yeah, exactly. So it's like internationalizing, or localizing. Yeah, that game. that includes you know what cars get to go into the game, mm -hmm. what. Race tracks. I talk to him. Yeah, you should. If you want your car in the game, you should talk to him. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's 2J. So. 2J. And, uh, and, uh, mu and the music, of course. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Of, that's a big factor that plays. Oh, I see, I see. Culturalizing the game. Okay. So yeah. what is the music different for different regions? It used to be different back in the uh, old days, but now we have we have like all sorts of music from all of um, our European producers put their music in the game too. Oh, I so see. we have in one game we have. Asian music, European music, and American music. So, Dai, Tuck was a pretty famous guy. He was uh, mentioned in the Wall Street Journal. Or New York Times, was it? I think it was the New York Times. New York Times. Oh, he got the call. He got the call. In the morning. Yeah. Because they because... Oh, can I ask him? Yeah. So, why you guys extend the date? <laughs> oh. It's pretty direct. <laughs> Once, it's twice. It's Okay. I think everybody wants to know this. What, 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 when's the game coming out, or do you even know when the game's coming out? I don't out? even know yet. Okay. Yeah, it's lots of stress. Gray hair. <laughs> but all I can say is, it's not going to be that late. It's going to come out very soon. So um, what was the, the reason for the... Was it more development time that was necessary, or...? or, or? There's all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's the, the most grand Gran Turismo ever. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, Humongous game, yeah. 1,000 cars, more than 70 track configurations, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, and plus online gameplay. So right. There's so much in this little game that we're gonna ship that you know there's a lot of kinks that needs to be work out till right. the end of the production. When you try to fix something, then mm -hmm. something else pops up. And it's like right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So that's why you were in the, in the New York Times. <laughs> that's well. That's. Probably a different issue. <laughs> when we announced uh, about the delay um, on our PlayStation blog, I guess some media, a lot of media picked that up. And I got woken up one, one morning uh, from a New York Times editor's phone call. Because your name was on the blog? I guess, yes. As the US producer? Yes. yes. Oh, I see. And then all my, even more hair fell out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you, Doc for coming to our show today. Um, Pleasure. This is um, this show is going to be mostly um, about um, asking you about when the game's going to come out. I'm just Sayonara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're actually going to talk about the SEMA show today. Awesome. Yeah, last week was the SEMA show, so uh, and all three of us were there. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, uh, let's talk about the show, like which cars uh, you liked, uh, what, what did you think it about the show, show in general, huh? you know, all kinds of, and you guys had that party. The wonderful party we have every year. Yeah, that you yeah. do every year. So, um, why don't we start out with uh, with Dai? I mean, what kind of cars did you see that you liked? Did, you, did you? Yeah, did you see any cars that you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of cool cars. Yeah. But uh, cool you, you want me to name on it? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, um, name, name a few. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember what booze and uh, who made it. Mm -hmm. Made that car. Yeah. But the, the my favorite was. Um, 
59 Cadillac. Oh, okay. It's like really big. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like, um, I don't know how that. What, what kind of category is that? Classics. Classics? American classics. In Gran Turismo, we would categorize as American, American classics. American classics. Classic cars. It's kind of a low rider, too, right? Or I guess, yeah. It's chopped, actually chopped. chopped yeah. And even body was chopped. Mm. A lot of like sheet metal works. Oh, okay. It's not more. It's not about performance. It's more about yeah, like, looks. looks so, gigantic. Yeah, yeah, it just looks super dope yeah. to me. I just want to drive like that cool. in LA. It'd you think cool. you can drive some, uh, drift something like that? Uh, I don't think so, but it would be cool. It'd be nice. Yeah. You look good in it. You can see. Really? Yeah. How about you, Taku? Did you? Uh, Stadium cars that. Uh... Yeah, I well, I, I don't know if you guys agree, but I think I saw a lot of uh, Camaros this year. Oh, yeah, that's actually. The new Camaro. Yeah, yeah, the new Camaro. I think last year, right? Well, I saw one in the GM booth that was really nice. Yeah, there's yeah. A, there was tons of them there, but even other places. Mm -hmm. there was, in general, I saw a lot of Camaros lot of being Camaros. worked on. Yeah. And then a lot of Z, the Nissan Z is being worked on too. The 370. Yeah, 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 I saw them. Because every year when I go to SEMA, I see like what the. I try to look at what cars are, are there. Mm -hmm. The popular car. Yes. And this year, I thought it was the Camaro. I'm sure, sure. sure. I saw a lot of Mustangs too. Yeah. Yeah. That Mustang that your friend uh, Jared. Oh, Jared. Yeah, that, that was cool was, too. That was cool. Yeah. 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 RTR. Yeah, RTR. That that's Maybe based. Is that based on an old Mustang? Or right. Right. Yeah. Sixty. Like a Sixty-nine something. Mustang or yeah. something like that. Mm. Did you Did you see that one? I didn't see that one. Oh yeah, where, where was it? Ford booth, right? It was uh, like right at the Ford the black booth. And yeah. green wheels on it. With the monsters? Yeah. Oh, monsters. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of monsters, uh, Monster Energy drink, there was a car based on the Ariel Atom. I think uh, it was called the Vortex uh, motor or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a kit, but it's based on the Ariel Atom. And uh, it was at the Hancock booth. Oh, okay. And that was kind of a cool looking car that I thought it would be fun to drive around. And it's street legal and everything, so. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be wicked fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, yeah, but, but uh, that was the overall um, view of mine. But then my, my personal picks would be uh, there's, there's this. I pick it because it's. I'm gonna be in it, mm -hmm. but it's a it's a Toyota Yaris okay. that used to be a Time Attack car, I believe, but mm -hmm. they uh, converted into SCCA specs. Okay. And me and Chris, the U.S. producers of mm -hmm. uh, Gran Turismo, will be um, training, going through tr some extensive training in that car. Oh, really? Um, with the Gran Turismo Five coming out, our message is to support grassroots racing. Okay. So with this car and us together working with Toyota, we're gonna. Um, as producers, we're going to start part participating in these grassroots SCCA races, oh, going fun. through, yeah, maybe cool. maybe get our licenses, and, and there's going to be a camera crew following us. And, and that car was actually at the at the Toyota booth. Oh, they cool. kindly put, a, oh, that's cool. put the car in the booth, and they have Good. GT logo. And you're going to actually race in the, yeah. in the car. Yeah. Nice. Hopefully I won't get hurt, but uh, I might need <laughs> some tips from you and, <laughs> on how to properly race. And, so and you was, guys had the, um, the GT5 actual consoles at the Honda booth too, We right? did. We did have uh, consoles at the Toyota booth and the Honda booth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And I was actually working, manning the booth uh, with two other folks and um, yeah, got to talk to a lot of angry people that came up <laughs> and like, what the hell is the game? What's it coming out? <laughs> Come on, man. I had a pre-order, man. And stuff like that. But, <laughs> but you know, to be on, on the light, on the positive side, yeah. it was really appreciative that people are out there still waiting for it. You know? yeah. Yeah. After, yeah. After all these years. Waiting. Well, everybody's waiting yeah. for it. They're I mean, just tired of getting, yeah. you know, waiting and waiting. <laughs> but that's, that's yeah. you know, but that, that means, means that they're, they're, they're anxious exactly. about it. So, you and, know. and, you know, instead of like forgetting about us and yeah. walking away, right. it's, they're, they're there, even if they're angry, they're waiting for yeah. this. So, so what was the feedback of, you know, these angry folks driving at the Well, after they sit down, they're all like, ah. <laughs> you know, I mean, the game feels great. You know, yeah. it's like once you sit in there, it's, it's Gran Turismo, mm -hmm. as I, it has always been, and it's even better. So, I yeah, we just want to get this game out and make a lot of people happy. And I'm not, I'm not done with it as well. But right. when when the game comes out, I'm gonna be playing yeah. you know, against you guys, everybody, and I'm gonna That'll lock the fun. lock the door yeah, and shut the curtain. And be, <laughs> yeah, we be can't like, wait. 
Because we're going to be able to play online with our friends. Exactly. Yeah. That's the first like real online Grand Turismo. Moment. We can make our own room. We can we can, our... We, we'll be actually able to see people that are like bragging how good they are. Exactly. How bad they are. Yeah. You know. And we can even trash talk. We can even spectate the races. And like, I can, I can watch you guys race and things like, hey, what's happening to you? Did I die? You know, speed up, man. What's you going can on? Talk. Yeah. So, wow. Wow. So, That's awesome. Wow. So when's the game coming out? Sayonara. Mother Kicha. Mother Kicha. Okay, so um, we went to the party, the Gran Turismo party. Yeah. Yeah. Um, held on Wednesday, Wednesday night. You liked it? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, always. It was awesome. Always. Every Gran Turismo is party is the best party. If you're at SEMA yeah. and if you're one not invited party. to the Gran Turismo party, you're no one. Mm -hmm. I tell you, you're no one. Wow. Yeah, our PR department puts a, put, puts a really good party for uh, SEMA every year. Mm -hmm. And the band was, was pretty good too. Yeah. Sure. 30 Seconds to Mars, mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, led, by, led by an uh, actor, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Famous actor, I don't know him very much. Jared, Leo, Leo, I don't know. You know those all the, yeah. all the girls were, <laughs> yeah. All the girls were Yeah, all the girls were going crazy. Oh, yes. Yeah. But we do that every year to celebrate the Gran Turismo Awards. Mm -hmm. We pick a car from the show and we put it in the game. Yeah. And we announce the winner at mm -hmm. the party. Who so won the award this year? So this year, this crazy 1969 Camaro tricked out, uh -huh. ready for Nürburgring. Oh, not the R ready to rock. Oh my god. Wow, oh, that sounds even better. RTN. Oh yes. So um, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be that's gonna be in the game. Mm -hmm. And it'll actually be pretty pretty close to see it uh, run against the last year's winner, which was uh, another tricked out Mustang. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so they're kinda so it, same. will this Camaro actually be in the game that comes out or is it going to be like a Well, you know, the game's almost out and update then or something this, like that. we just picked this car, so I guess it'll have to be uh, post-launch at mm -hmm. some point. Right. I don't know if it'll be a downloadable mm -hmm. thing or right. Gran Turismo 6, I don't know. So. We'll be old by then. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> might speed up the process. We're already old, but... By the time this Camaro gets you know, in the game, I don't know, it'll be like SEMA 2020 or something. Oh, you so harsh, that was something. Well, I, I, wow, I, I, you, I, I, I can't speak like this with the Yamaha, so I get maybe... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm just eager to see the game. I'm a big fan of the game, so yeah, that's true. I'm just really eager to see it. Yeah, I can't. Because he cares. Yeah, exactly. exactly.